I told you we were going to talk about sunglasses today, if that's what you're tuned into. I'm sorry, but we're not going to talk about sunglasses today. We're going to talk about sunglasses tomorrow. I had a very interesting question come up about two hours ago. And so I told the gentleman that I would answer it here on this seminar today. And the question was, Captain Dave, how do you figure out a good game plan for fishing at Catalina. How do you keep coming up with these plans that keep helping all of us catch fish over there? I told him it's simple. It's just like what we always talk about, the game plan. You have to have a plan when you're gonna go out fishing, but you need information. You've got to be able to grab information from the people that you know that are out fishing every day, and you have to be able to dissect that information and know what the information is trying to tell you, what's the island doing? What is the island like right now? Is there dirty water at the island? Is there clean water at the island? Is there a big south swell? Is there a big west swell? All these things matter when you're trying to dissect Catalina, for instance, or for example, San Clemente Island, the Coronados, all these, Santa Cruz, Anacapa, Santa Barbara, all these islands are affected in different ways by the swell is a huge factor of how the island is going to fish. South swell, that eastern end of Catalina is going to be very, very hard to fish because of the fact that the water is going to be torn up pretty good and the current or the uh, swell is going to be pushing in a direction that most of the fish are not used to. Because the prevailing wind and the prevailing current in Southern California is pretty much out of the west and the swell is out of the west. And when you turn that around and you have a south swell and a south wind, those conditions are going to dictate how you come around and decide how you're going to fish Catalina. We're talk we could talk about any island, but right now the gentleman I was talking to was talking about Catalina and how do you come up with these plans so that he could start to understand more instead of waiting for Thursday, every Thursday afternoon for when I put the game plan out. He wanted to be able to decipher it a little bit better so that when he goes, he could have a better way to read the island. And so this is what I'm telling you, gang. You gotta look at the swell. You gotta look at, you have to have some type of way to look at the water and the water temperature and the water clarity. That would be fish dope is the easiest way to grab that information the quickest and easiest way with their charting that they have over on fish dope. I can grab that chart, look at it no matter where I am in the world. I can go right on their website, look at their charting, figure out what that water looks like at Catalina, see the clarity, which is going to be on the chlorophyll, and then I can see the water temperature. Then I look at buoy weather and look at the swell height and what direction that swell is coming out of. And that's going to help me to decide whether I'm going to send you guys down east or if I'm going to send you to the middle of the island on the front or on the back or if it's coming out a big swell out of the west it's going to tell me to send most guys down east. We're going to look at stuff down there and then with all the information that we gather you got to have a good code group. You have to have a good bunch of guys that you can call up on a daily basis that will answer the phone and that will tell you the true information. Thank goodness that I've been in this business for the last 48 years so I am able to call people and they actually answer my phone calls. I'm not talking about the, the young kids in the business today that are, that are Instagram famous and that tell, try to tell you to figure this out on your own. I'm talking about people that do this for a living that have been established in the business for a long time like myself. I can pick up the phone and call these people and they will tell me what's going on at Catalina or they will tell me what's going on at Clemente or down at the Coronados or offshore bluefin fishing. And then I can grab all that information and then sit down and put together a perfectly planned execution for you guys to go out and do on your day off because the last thing I want you to do is quit your job and try to figure out this fishing thing because we need you guys working so that we can all go fishing and have fun on your days off. I don't need you all to become fishermen every day and be broke like most of us fishermen. I need you guys to work, 
gather up that money and then go spend it on the weekends or on whatever day off you get to have. But what I have done at YourSaltWaterGuide.com is I've taken out that part where you have to go out and try to figure it out on your own, on your day off. Now, granted, you're gonna go out there and you're gonna try to execute the plan that I put together for you on Thursdays, but there's gonna be times where you're on your way to the spot and you see something that looks interesting because you've listened to all my videos, you've gone on my website, you've seen the condition videos, you've seen the video about the birds, You've seen the videos about current. You've seen all the things that absolutely matter, but most of us don't have the luxury, luxury, luxury of time. Sorry, got stuck. The luxury of time. We only have X amount of time in the day to go fishing on our day off. And normally we bring a friend or two and they would love to catch fish because they saw your pictures of all the fish you caught. And so it's their day to go fishing also. So when it's their day to go fishing and it's your day to go fishing, you want to be as successful as you can. That's why I promote these game plans all the time. I mean, gang, you can't beat it. One time purchase of $20, you get the game plans as long as you're a member for the $4.99 a month. You get game plans every Thursday that are gonna pinpoint the best places to be. If you're fishing out of San Diego, if you're fishing out of Moral, or out of the Channel Islands, or if you're fishing out of Catalina or San Clemente Island, we put together the best plans that we possibly can by the network that we have, and by looking at the water on fish dope, and looking at the swell height, and the direction of the swell, and then, I put all that together and then with all my years of knowledge of fishing all these spots, I simply pretend like I am going on your boat. And I just, I'm gonna be on your boat for the day. I'm gonna go to where I believe we have the best chance to catch a fish. And that's how I put together these game plans. And you can start to do that too as you get more adept in this whole thing of fishing. And you start to learn how to read the water because you watch the videos on your saltwaterguide.com and you're starting to understand how current is so important to the bite. If there isn't current, there's a really good chance you're not gonna catch any fish. And there could be current and you could be catching, catching, catching and then the current stops. And as soon as the current stops, the fish stop biting. Now a lot of times you won't even notice that the current stopped but you'll be able to pick up on it pretty quickly because every time you threw your bait in the water, you got a bite, and then all of a sudden you, you're throwing five baits in the water in a row and no bites, and then you look and you're all, oh, shh. The current stopped. Also, you can be following the plan.